still. It, I can see the uh, catalyst kind of like catching the light at the top, making a little like psychedelic pattern. Right. So I don't think it does anything. Okay. Probably not safe to eat anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's really pungent with the odor now, so I'm not going to do that. Um, For science! <laughs> science! Um, really, that's all I got. If you guys got any more questions at all, or any, if you want to share any stories about how working with brothers or not, I know this guy is very knowledgeable. So I appreciate it. I'm so, um, so I'll be here at the whole time if everyone has any questions at all. I'll just see me walk around. <coughs> and see, like, oh, you got something? Yeah, um, I remember I showed you the, the hair to my Lego head. Mm -hmm. uh, I, did, I was in a rush to get it done by Oticon, and so what I came up with is soaking craft foam with fiberglass, and it took a long time. And each and every, I carved each and every little lock of hair onto the. It was ridiculous. Like I needed to make a, a solid snap-on, snap-off piece of hair for the head, but the best I could come up with was with just suggested ones, uh, soaking the. Uh, craft foam with Bondo. So like I, and it came out uneven as you can imagine. And, but it it was just enough for the con. Like any any better idea? Um what you could do with that is uh for the snap off piece of the leg that I would advise just doing that of uh, EVA foam, you can carve it like that. Um anything like that general when you get something big on your head I would advise against it by making out of resin essentially. Like this thing um, it's very heavy. This is yeah like I said this is eight pounds. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, it, it can tire you out. Essentially, if it's too heavy for your head or too heavy for your neck, um, I believe there's like a ratio that it takes for your like amount of poundage for pressure for your neck to snap. Actually, so twelve pounds. I advise putting a certain amount of like over about ten pounds over your head. I would Fair, essentially though, that was actually made out of metal and ivory. It would weigh significantly more. Really, that makes sense. I don't know. I, I just get wary about stuff like that. There were some people in third world <laughs> countries carrying you know, eighty pounds on their head. Yes, yeah, you've seen the video with the guy stacking like almost a hundred bricks on top of his head by throwing them up and then catching them with his head. Yeah, I'll make a what? Don't do YouTube. What? Yes. what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. While um, standing in a boat, no uh, rocking and he's just like... What? Stacking <laughs> what? bricks on top of his head. I call hacks. I call hacks on this. <laughs> <laughs> shoot. Um, I would suggest using EVA foam for any like large wide out pieces of like, let's say you had your hair like that, EVA foam, and don't put any resin on it, just seal it right and then paint it and it could look good. So um, that's, that's what I would suggest with that. EVA foam is uh, essentially, uh, it's craft foam, it's a little thicker. Um, you can find it sold at Walmart for about uh, five dollar, uh, twenty dollars for five sheets. It's essentially that stuff you put on the floor for mats at the gym. It's like the, that. the black micro cell. Yeah, okay. yeah. You, they have it at Harbor Freight right now. Um, twenty dollars for eight pieces. You might fax it. It's on sale for thirty-three percent. I can get your discount. I want this. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> um, I had a, examples of that in my previous panel, but if anybody attended that, but um. I uh, also, if you ever see me walk around for the Lego head, I actually have the top part of it made out of that, so I can show you that if you want to. So, um, anything else? Yeah. Um, I'm looking to um, cast a, like a, a juniper branch inside of a glass gin bottle. Oh, okay. Um, I, I don't. I've never really done any casting before, but I've got a. I've got a jar of resin and some hardener for it. Okay. But, um, is it, really know where to go is it this type or is it an acrylic resin? Oh, uh, it's acrylic. Okay, so it's the clear type. Um, do you want bubbles in it or do you want it just to be totally solid at all? I was uh, hoping for it to be solid, yeah. Totally solid. Okay, what you're going to need to do is, um, as I like stated earlier, um, you could get, as long as you can get some pressure in there, it'll force the bottles out, like put it in, like, let's say, a pressure chamber. Um, you can get kind of like a metal paint mixing container, uh, like at Harbor Freight. Those are expensive, though. Um, you could also heat it up. You can heat up the resin before you pour it. You take a heat gun, just kind of go back and forth, kind of slow, kind of fast, just enough so you um, don't catch any fumes that are too crazy coming off of it. Make sure you're wearing the uh, something to cover your mouth and nose with, respiratory stuff, so you don't breathe in any of those fumes, because the acrylic resin actually is a little bit more toxic than that, from what I've heard. Um, when I've worked with both, I still get that buzz that I don't really want. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, it's, it's still it's very pungent, very toxic. So just kind of heat it up before you pour it in. Try to pour it in as thin as you can. That I mean, being a, um, as uh, I'll demonstrate for you, don't make it like kind of just globbed in like like that. Kind of get it so it has a thin uh, 
strand with as little much oxygen as it can like that. Because that'll keep oxygen bubbles from accumulating inside of there. So that's the best way to get rid of that. Unless you don't want to spend a lot of money on pressure chambering it. So. Again, goodwill is your friend. Pressure cooker is going to good gas in pots. Really? I never thought, never thought of a pressure cooker. That works. What do you got? Um, I generally don't talk in suits, but I have to mention this. That dust mask will not save you from the fumes from the stuff you're mixing. You have to use a respirator. Yeah, I've got okay. a paint respirator. You have okay. to use a double filter respirator. You okay. can't wear that flimsy little dollar store dust mask. It will not save you. Okay. There, there are masks. And I don't generally talk in suit, but this is really dangerous I, stuff. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate you breaking silence. The point he's trying to make is they actually do make double layer respirators well, they have designed like that. Mm -hmm. Right. So but generally they they don't. I just you can't just go an by example. any dust mask uh, and have it help. Yeah, you have one yeah, say the one you painted green, green remember for the chrome. Yeah. 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 Three M mix and they're like uh, thirty, forty bucks. But you can just buy any any dollar one. You have to 